another five minute mystery. Our story takes place in Green's Gap, a small town in the Southern Cavern District. Green's Gap Hospital, Dr. Melville speaking. Doctor, doctor, there's been an accident at Echo Cavern. Accident? What kind of accident? Two men were exploring and they got lost last night. One unconscious. You better come quick before he's dead. I hope you know how to get out to Echo Cavern, then. With the drug being town constable and ambulance driver, I reckon I know all there is to know about this country. Ever been in the cavern, Lynn? Once, Dr. Melville, I was a, when I was a boy. Nearly got my high tender over my paw. Echo Cavern is a mighty treacherous place. You mean it's easy to get lost in? Not only that, dog, it's cavern gas, carbon something. You mean carbon dioxide? Mm, yeah, that's it. All of a sudden, run into some of that stuff. Before you know it, bang, you're out. Still, people seem to go exploring there. More fools to be. I wouldn't be going them cabins. At least not without a dog. A dog? What for? Well, if the dog goes over there, and you know the gas is collecting. I'm afraid, Mr. Gaddy, your friend is dead. <laughs> Poor Patsy. It was from the gas, wasn't it, Doc? That's what it looks like to me. Hmm. Why'd you go in the cavern anyway? Patsy asked me to. He never seen a cave before. How far did you go in? Well, it didn't seem very far, but all of a sudden... We lost our way. Mm -hmm. Where was that? Well, how do I know whereabouts? It was if we was lost. We tried to trace our way back, but it wasn't no use. Patsy started to get scared. It's kind of funny to see a big guy like that get scared. Yes, he is rather big, isn't he? Yeah, six foot four. The mob used to call us Mutt and Jeff. And then what happened? Well, I was a little scared myself, but we stuck together. <laughs> you know, walking in the dark with only my flash from the car. All of a sudden, Pat's killed over. From the gas? Yeah, that's what I figured. His head hit on a rock, and I guess that just about finished him off. Mm, I suppose you reckon he's pretty sluggy, mister. Yeah, sure. I figure it's because I'm only five foot three that I got out of there alive. The gas must have been just about a foot over my head. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think about that, Doc Melville? I think you better arrest Mr. Gaddy for the murder of his friend Patsy. What was the flaw in Gaddy's story? Do you know it? In a moment, we'll hear from Lemon Dr. Melville. And now let's see whether you're as observant as Lem and the doctor. Hey, copper, let me put my hands down. They're tired. When you're in Green's Gap Jail, not before. I don't get it. It was a good story. I still can't figure out how you found out. Lem tells me they used to take dogs into the cavern because the gas is heavier than air. It collects on the floor. If you really met gas, you would have keeled over first, before your pal Patsy. Well, what do you know? I tell nowadays in this murder racket, you need a college education. 